Welcome back to A Cooking Thing. Today, we're mixing up the controversial drink that is eggnog. Some people, like myself, quite enjoy this classic winter holiday beverage. Others don't. If you're one of those people, drop a comment telling me why you're wrong. High alert! Raw eggs? Not today, Satan! Start by adding one quart of whole milk to a saucepan on low heat. Add to that two tablespoons of cinnamon and half a tablespoon of nutmeg. Stir that all together. Keep stirring the pot like my neighbors do, always asking why I don't join the book club. Truly, give it a rest! All right, let's take a break from passive-aggressively stirring the milk and start aggressively stirring six eggs. Mix in half a cup of sugar and a splash of vanilla. Chef David says this is basically a starter custard, which we're going to bring to just barely, not full, custard consistency. I don't really know what that means, but eggnog is good, so okay. All right, now we need to temper. Not a temper, this isn't Gordon Ramsay. Add half a cup of the warmed milk mixture to the egg mixture and stir it together to bring up the temperature. Once those eggs have warmed up, add it all into the saucepan. Stir on low heat until it reaches your desired thickness, with two C's. Then call your partner in to use his manly strength to pour the eggnog through a strainer into your serving vessel. Or, in this case, a vessel with a wide opening that you can then pour into your serving vessel. <sighs> so strong. Wait, what is he doing? No, no, no! <sighs> okay, it's time to clean up since Chef poured your hard work all over the counter and left it for you to deal with. I am not your maid! It's impossible to find good unpaid help these days. Once the eggnog is cooled, pour it into a glass with a shot of brandy. You didn't think I was going soft here, did you? Add a cinnamon stick and let it sink to the bottom because it's too short for your glass. Then top with cinnamon, not considering the fact that your cool design will just spread in the liquid. And enjoy! Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more recipes! Now let's go put my lactose intolerance to the test!